Yeah, this is the yeoman's office. Okay, typewriter and okay. The other one's the captain's. Okay, flip that leg up for honey. You could make it. There you go. There you go. Just take your time. That's amazing. Watch your head now. Okay, under here you got the Nani Hidia, the ship's compass. That's it right there. And some of the boats have a DRT, dead reckoning tracer plot right here where they could have been. Actually, the DRT, uh, uh, I guess maybe it's an updated one, but they have it over here. Before, I can shut this off so they can talk. But Often you will hear before I do, these are actual, actual, the following example. these are actual maybe sonar training recordings, uh, <laughs> 40s vintage to train sonar men. These are, the sounds are actual sounds recorded underwater uh, from hydrophones to train sonar men. It's kind of like a, for people going through a little something. Mm -hmm. That's where I used to do my work, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Start forward and aft, two time. Second blast of diving alarm. How Eight. many blasts do you want to? <laughs> I did that on a climbing board down there at Patriot Point in South Carolina, yeah. and next time they turned it off. Really? Yeah, it's a little fun for people. What's yeah. more fun? Yeah, hey, here's some more fun. There you go. Rig for red. Nighttime. <laughs> Nighttime. Rig for yeah. red. <laughs> many, many a time I've operated in dark. You want a little more fun? Okay, I don't have a Christmas tree. I have this updated dive yeah, board. Yeah. Watch the board. It will cycle through the submerged and surface yeah, sequence. Cool. Yeah. These are openings for the pressure hole. They're open now. These are your ballast tanks. They're closed. Uh -huh. Once you have a straight board, you vent your tanks. Just watch it. It'll, it'll go through the sequence. Okay. Give it 30 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. And then when you have a straight board, yeah. Mr. There you go. You vent, and then the tanks, will, the ballast tanks, will open up. <laughs> now, when you're right here. This is the main induction, round ball, Excuse me, negative flood, T, safety or, flood, straight oh yeah. valve. Now, if you're in the dark here, uh, you could, now, the squalus, the chief of the watch, oh yeah. hit that, he thought he was over negative flood, getting rid of the flood negative tank, and he shut the main induction. There ain't no way for that main induction valve to shut except by throwing this valve. And then after that, then, they put a, a thing like this on the side, so it takes two hands to do it, and you have to pull this thing out to stop it. But the squalers didn't have that. The chief of the watch is in here, and an over negative flood shoved in the induction. And they're going down, and it, the induction open, and mm. it filled it up. Mm. Second blast alarm went to Bob Boyne to you number one and on back until you got all over. Some of them are fuel ballast tanks. You can use the main ballast tanks if there's no fuel in them, but you've got them locked up so it's to fuel them because you don't want to open them. And so, second blast of dive alarm, I would, the first thing I'd have to do is, somewhere around here is a, it's a different on this boat put out. You have two IMO pumps. This is probably them, I don't know. You always have one running and one on standby until you dive. And when you hear the second blast of dive alarm, you put the second IMO pump on, so you've got two pumps on in case you have a malfunction. And then with the two, after you put the two pumps on, then you go ahead and start pulling your vents. And you don't go instantly. You start, you start flooding, and then you, you hit that ball valve. And then the new boats now, where the shaft comes down in the galley, the cook will run holler through the galley and say, Main induction shut and lock. Well, it comes down, there's a pinhole in that shaft that comes down, and he shoves a bolt through it, so it can, no way for it to open up. He comes through, says, main induction shut and lock. And, uh, and uh, then he reports green board, and I tell the guy, put some air in the boat, there'd be a gauge here somewhere, 
and, and the ODs coming down off the bridge and uh, air the boat, green board. And he says six two feet and the plane's been yeah, sometimes it, I don't know where this may be, it's rig a bow plane up. After you get done with up here you reach down. So when they come down the bow planes will be out, all they gotta do is do the thing. I have a question. Okay, I've read about them and I've seen them throughout the boat, the IMO pumps. What do they do? The IMO hydraulic pressure. There are two IMO pumps are down in a pump room and they supply all hydraulic they pressure for hydraulic all valves, everything is hydraulic on the boat. Bow planes rig out and, and right. so, uh, it used yeah. to be electric on the OS boats. But right. now it's all hydraulic. There's some guy told me it stands for I move oil. Right. Meaning hydraulic. I move oil. oil. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And all the time one of them is on standby because you always got valves open, shut, and things are going on. Yeah. But when you dive, you don't want one, the IMO pump that's on to go out on you. So that was, I come in to relieve the chief of the watch that was on bail, and I come on and he's checking me out on what's going on. We're running along on the surface. And I look up, and this may be them, I don't know, and I see t two IMO pumps on. And it shouldn't be on unless we're on a dive. And I said, what's the story on this 2MI? He said, there ain't 2MIMO pumps on. They looked at the switch and uh, one was off and one was on. And, but yet the lights was on. And I went over, opened the hatch, and looked down the front room and it was full of oil. That's what put the lights on, short circuit down there. So he was chief electrician, so I let him go. And I relieved him on the watch because a torpedo ain't got nothing to do, big deal, but the electrician, you get fire, you know, yeah. uh, if, with wa water. Yeah, you get, yeah. yeah. So he had to get out and isolate circuitry and all that, and so I just took the walk. And that got me a seat at the round table. <laughs> they had the investigation about it. Really? Yeah. If I did, I, I relieved him at 7.30, 1930, yeah. and I didn't have to relieve him until 1945, but we were state 16. We were rolling, I said, I had four guys beating around there, I'll go help them out. So I relieved them early and that put me right in there. How did the water get into the pump room? The negative vent, where's the negative vent? It's, it's long here somewhere. Okay. I'd have, well, to, not, I'd have to read it. On our boat, it was a big, oh. weighted. Over here? It might be that one right there, the black handle going straight up. That looks like it. Yeah. That looks like it. Only. The, the boat I was on, it was a weight, a heavy, it made this high and a heavy weight on the end. And it went into a clip in there. And we were rolling 30 to 40 degrees, really? moving ahead at State 60. And what they figure happened, we rolled to right. starboard, the vent valve opened. Okay, gotcha. Negative flood was yeah. open, filled, it tended into the pump room, filled the pump room up. Wow. Now, after that, they got this big latch on the negative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, then, we learned by yeah. I'm sorry to keep interrupting, but, okay, I know about ballast tanks, fuel ballast tanks. The idea behind this is to lock a fuel ballast tank to prevent it from, you, you, to prevent you from flooding all the fuel out of it? Well, you can't do that. That's just a stop gap on the tank back in an emergency vent valve backs this hydraulic valve oh, up, right, okay. and that's always shut. Now the rig a fuel ballast tank for uh, to be a main ballast tank, right. besides unlocking here, you have to go back and open the okay. manual okay. vent. So it, it has it stopped in two ways, the manual emergency vent. So when we used to go out and test boats and create casualties and everything, what we would do is nobody was looking, we'd shut the emergency then on a regular ballast tank, and then they would dive, and that tank didn't flood, yeah. so the boat would roll over and go down sideways, and you have to see how long it would take them to find out what the problem was. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard stories where, well, I don't have a bubble here, but when, when new, uh, new uh, uh, planesmen would come in, part of the thing when you were submerged is it's like, a, like your level bubble. You had to keep mm -hmm. the bubble level. And what they would do is they'd have the guys here, they were new, they were nervous, keep the bubble level, and then all the crew would quietly go forward, and the boat would go like this. Then they'd bring it back up, and then they'd go aft, and the boat would go like this, just to see how long it took the guys to figure out that you know, Jane was being yanked. <laughs>
So we had a there was a bubble that's right in the middle of the I don't have a bubble. I've looked everywhere. There's no bubble on here. It's all right. You're doing good. You got everything in pretty good shape. Well, <laughs> well I think we placed the bubble. Is this here? It gives you your... your, uh, mm -hmm. your well, this is a plain angle indicator, but, but I, I've looked everywhere, and I don't even see where you would mount the bubble here. Maybe here? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, on the on the boat, uh, boat I've been on, it was right here in the middle. Yeah, okay. And as soon as the OD came down, we say, make your depth 6'2 feet. If that's the maximum depth, you still use a periscope in calm weather. We say, make your depth 6'2 feet, 15 degrees down on the planes. Both planesmen would run their planes down to 15. And then after they did that, they, they would tell them what bubble they wanted. Five degree down bubble. And you do the 15 thing, but you see you're going past five to 15 degree down there. Or what? Once the plane is trying to attain that angle, you're going to shorten your angle to come to that side. <laughs> if you look up the conning tower, right above me, the conning tower, and the periscope. And uh, yeah, the periscope's are up there. Sonar equipment, the radar equipment. The main helm is up there. TDC, torpedo there, Unfortunately, all that equipment, that's an open cavity. None of it's there. It was all yanked out. Oh. Oh. And then you go to the other end of the spectrum.